You can feel what you want to feel within yourself. It is very easy. These words are very easy to say, and while it is true, it is not always easy to put into practice. However, you can absolutely choose to feel gratitude instead of disappointment. You can choose forgiveness over anger. If you are very happy, you will do many more things than if you are unhappy. Happiness is a factor in motivation and productivity. Happier people tend to be in better control of their emotions. They are also out there making things happen instead of just remaining content. They are out there looking for new opportunities and seeking to understand things. When you are actively pursuing things, it makes sense that you would find something and do more things. Love is your quality. Love is not what you do. Love is what you are. How can you be love? It comes down to the type of energies and behaviors you put out into the world. Love is what you are whenever you are being kind and compassionate to someone. It is what you are when you value yourself and the people around you. Listening and communicating are other ways that you can be love. Basically, anything that expresses care for another human is a way to show what you are through love. Unless you do the right things, the right things will not happen to you. This sounds a lot like karma, which is defined as destiny or fate, following is effect from cause. It also is aligned with the law of attraction. Doing the right thing feels good and impacts the people around you. Sometimes, the right things that happen to you will take a while to come around. However, what goes around comes around, and often in ways that you couldn't imagine. When you are all-inclusive, your experience of your existence becomes beautiful, and that is why you are joyful. Being inclusive means that you embrace everyone without regard to their race, gender, sexuality, or other factors. This will open you up to experiencing things through the eyes of those who are different than you. It is our differences that add beauty to the world or they shouldn't be feared, but rather embraced. Unless you begin to see the hollowness of where you are right now, you will not begin to seek something else strongly. Spend some time getting to know yourself and what you want in this life. If you could seek something new right now, what would it be? If you don't reflect on the vision for your life, become self-aware, and gain some direction, then you will not move from where you are. If you want to know whether you are moving forward in life, just see if you are a little more joyful today than you were yesterday. Moving forward, finding your purpose, and making your life easier, are each noble goals and aspirations. It can be hard to see the progress from day to day. However, gauging the amount of happiness and joyfulness you feel can be a good indicator. Then you can start asking yourself why you feel more joy today than you did yesterday. Whatever happens to you, you can either see it as a curse and suffer it, or you can see it as a blessing and make use of it. These words might make you feel a little uncomfortable, but they are true. You control how you see something. You can ask, why is this happening to me? Or you can ask, how can I use the lesson I learned from this? Your perspective about something will determine your attitude and the path that you take in response.